wife of the master, while the menfolk expressed their relief in the manner approved among seamen. Dictators meet and demonstrate the solidarity of the Rome-Berlin axis, which means the agreement of Hitler and Mussolini to work together in their foreign policies. As they ride through the huge crowds of enthusiastic Munich, pride must swell the hearts of both dictators at the hold which two men of destiny can achieve over the minds and hearts of millions of their fellow beings. They drive into Berlin, where in the gloom the scenes are repeated. It is not the first time they have foregathered. Three years ago, Hitler visited Mussolini in Venice. Then it was he who went to consult Mussolini, soon after his advent to power in Germany. Now it is Hitler who gives advice to the Duce. Strange as it may seem, Hitler still hopes to attach Britain to the Rome-Berlin axis. They go together to the maneuvers, and in the efficiency of the German war machine, the Duce sees the militarization of a national movement for which he himself supplied the pattern. The American Legion has arrived. 